Good morning, garden update. See what I'm doing here in just a minute. I am preparing for my raised beds to get filled up. Got me a truckload of dirt. That's my buddy Joe. Used to work for him, matter of fact. Good feller. We got us a load of mixed up everything. Should be pretty good stuff. I went to sprinkler. Forgot about that. Just like that. Be back in a minute. Good morning. We're going to do a video response to Buck Run 11's March Prepper Challenge, Garden Challenge. I'll list it right on the thing. Right, I'm going to show you all how I store my seeds, and I keep seeds from year to year, show you what I'm going to plant this year. I'm scaling down, not planting a bunch of stuff that I wind up not using a lot. But as they come out, got cucumbers. These are regular pickling cucumbers. Show you my box, I put them in. Pickling cucumbers. I have to get some more of these uh, green beans, regular green bean. Blue Lake bush beans is what I like to plant. Seems to do pretty good. Now these are baby green lima beans, which I'm not going to plant any of those this year. And carrots. Now I buy my seeds bulk. I bet the feed store in town where I buy my feed and all. You know, if they don't have what I want, sometimes I'll run up. There's a co-op up in Baker, Florida. That way, I'll go up there and get them from there. Broccoli, which I may or may not plant when I get these raised beds finished. So it's uh, it's time to plant that now. But we don't plant till uh, after Easter, around Good Friday, somewhere in there. Last year, I planted a little bit of corn. I don't think I'll plant any of that this year. Because to get a really good corn crop, you need a lot of land. And we've got enough farms up at the north end of the county. I can go buy a couple of bushels for a little bit of nothing when it comes in. That is rutabagas. Again, maybe, maybe not. Cabbage. I always plant some cabbage. I'll start plants first and then I'll transplant those. And that's cauliflower seeds, and that's another maybe, maybe not. Got to get some more squash seed. That's the regular yellow squash, the crookneck yellow squash. That's the ones I like the best. Because we take those and can them, uh, make pickles out of them. You ever had a squash pickle? We'll just use a bread and butter pickle mix. They're real, real good. And it's a good way to use them, because usually... Um, Five or six good plants, you get all the squash that you and the neighbors and everybody else can eat. Because we've canned them in jars and they just don't taste all that good that way. And I never had any luck freezing them either. Pink eye purple hull peas. We've got to have those. Those are real good. They grow better out here than black eyes. A lot of people like zipper creams, but I like them, but the wife don't like them. She likes these, and I like all of them. So. <coughs> Excuse me. And now these, the peas, they will freeze these. We have canned them, but they seem to dry out on the inside when you can them. They're much better to blanch them and freeze them. Okri. Got to have okri. 
Uh, turnips, purple top turnips. I will plant some of those. And later on in the year, pumpkins. Maybe, maybe not. Grandkids like to look at them. All right, this is tomato seed. I started my seed from tomatoes. I mean, my tomatoes from seed last year. But I found out something about tomatoes. The local garden expert on our local radio here. A lot of people's having trouble with tomatoes getting rusty and rust spots all over them around here. And he said what that is and what it could be if you're a smoker, which get off me, I know it's bad for me. But you have that residue, that tobacco residue on your hand and when you touch your seed or touch your plant it um it's some kind of tobacco fungus that can get on your plants. So I didn't I never knew that and I've had rust problems for the last few years with plants or seeds. So what I'm gonna do this year when there's a some kind of genetically modified plant that they got, which I don't care nothing about that, but I know a place I can get real organic plants. And what I'll do when I get them and plant them this year, I'll get me some rubber gloves and put on and just see if that helps them. Collards, I always have a few collards. That's some rainbow corn, flying eagle corn. I'm probably not planning with that. That is a golden wax bush bean, yellow bean. I did pretty good on those last year. I canned them, but nobody likes them but me for some reason. And I still got some from last year. So. And I got a lot of junk in this box too, but that's radishes, there's mixed radish seeds. And I plant these, mainly let the kids plant these because they grow real fast. <coughs> Some more than yellow beans. Mustard greens. Probably plant a few of those. And the rest of this stuff is all flower seeds. They were four for a dollar last year and then they went eight for a dollar so my wife grabbed bunches of them. And I don't know, she might plant them, she might not, who knows. <coughs> Excuse me, there's some more cucumbers. And I've always had good luck storing seeds in a box like this. Keep them out here in the shop. And hot peppers, I probably won't plant any this year. I had more than I could use last year. I got to where I'd, every time I'd call somebody, they were scared I was going to try to give them some peppers and they wouldn't answer the phone. So Anyway, that's what I'm doing for the garden this year. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Bye.